Hi, it's me, Creative Katie, Karen Burchill. Welcome to my channel, Mixed Media Creations. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, and Pinterest. Search for Creative Katie, you'll find me. If you wish to support my channel, you can shop through my Amazon influencer links or make a direct donation through my PayPal link. Both can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, click on the bell and select the option to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Today, we have a quick fire quote journal behind the scenes video. And in it, I'm going to talk about how you can set yourself up for art journal success by setting up a possibility packet. Hi everybody, I'm just getting ready to work on setting up for the second month or second theme in my quick fire quote journal. If you're not familiar with the quick fire quote journal, I've done one month of it and the idea behind this is an answer to a common complaint that we as art journalers have is that we don't have the time to spend to do a page, take an hour or two to complete a page. So to that effect, I created the Build Your Stash series, which are ways that you can spend some time building up embellishments, uh, background papers, different things that you can have in your stash that then you have at the ready. And this is kind of a jumps off from there and actually makes it quicker. So then the first ones, and you can, I'll put a link to the entire playlist and please watch the beginnings of it. But in a nutshell, what I did is I repurposed a disc bound journal. This is my old mini planner from last year and I put paint on it using my gel plate, which was a very quick, easy way of doing it. I've also stamped some of them. I also have some blank pages, again, which I gessoed using the gel plate. And there's a video that talks about that, the pluses and minuses. So this series gives you a lot of more hints on how to do things so that you can set yourself up for success so that you can, if you have 15 minutes, you can get into your art journal creative place and space and finish a page. And to that end, uh, this video, I'm not going to create a new page. I'm going to show you how I'm going to set things up for the next month. So I am taking um, some time, not art journaling, and I am just going to build my stash for the next month. Now, one of the complaints that people often have, and I'm just going to put this here so you have something, something colorful to look at. One of the other complaints that I often hear people saying is that they're overwhelmed. They have all these supplies and they have all of this stuff and they don't know where to start. And what I'm going to talk about today actually will hopefully help you to doing that. So what I'm going to do is set up, we are going to pull the possibilities. So this theme, I picked the theme of perseverance for the next three, four weeks. I'm not keeping a tight schedule to a month. I'm doing it for three, four weeks. So I went on Pinterest and I got some quotes and I typed, played around already, you know, in the evenings watching TV, I'm just, I'm typing them up and set, setting them up. So I have, you know, several pages, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, actually 21 different quotes about perseverance. Now I'm not going, I may not get these all done in a month. In fact, I don't plan to, but they're different quotes and they spoke to me. And for whatever reason, I 
chose to put them under the perseverance thing. So I printed those off on paper. So those are going into this folder. Now these folders I got just got from the dollar store and you know I like the ones with this the snaps. This one is go you can put into a three ring binder as well. I don't like the ones that have the velcro. They, the, as you can see it didn't even line up and I don't really like the ones that you have to wrap the string because as you can see I lose the string. But I keep these and I collect my stuff in them. So this is going to be the quick fire quote journal um, folder and we are going to pull some possibilities for this. So already we have the quotes. This will be a folder of inspiration so to speak. So I have you know various embellishments too that I've collected over time. Now a lot of these are smaller in scale. So when I'm doing canvases and things that are bigger than maybe a five by seven, they are a little too small. But it occurs to me that they would be absolutely perfect embellishments for this. So I'm just going to pull those out and I'm going to various stages and places in my studio and I'm just pulling some things that may work. Now I'm going to limit myself to whatever is going to fit in this possibilities folder. So right now I'm going to grab some of my file folders that contain magazines. So now when you're picking embellishments and you, you're not sure where the page is going to go, but there are lots of embellishment. Flowers, butterflies, there are some very, very general things. And I'm also going to pull some of these. I've got some fairy ones. I have some feathers here. Some stamped images. Flowers of various kinds, some general stuff, and I don't know what I'm going to use. I have some embellishments that I have some texture on, some butterflies, different things. So I'm just going to put a smattering of those in here. I don't, you know, different colors. I want some variety. I'm not, I'm not going to want everything to be flowers or anything. So we're just going to set that aside. So I'm just going through very quick and easy, you know, I've got these all classified, you know, I've got seasons. I don't want any, any sentiments in this, but if you weren't following the quote journal and weren't following my theme, you could definitely pick out some sentiments that you've cut from magazines. And I have this in the folders and stuff. And, you know, I'm thinking, I know I'm going to do, it's on perseverance. So I want something that's going to go angels, don't really do it for me for that purpose. And you're going very quickly and easily and just trust your instincts. I'm not overthinking. If you don't have them cut out, you can just be grabbing a magazine and flip through it and put anything in there. And I just have the size just to, to limit the Now magazine collage is not something that I do a lot. So and I don't have I don't get magazines, so I oh, and I might be good, but that one's too big. Well, that might work. 
And, I, and, and they, even if it's a mite, remember, these, this is the folder of possibilities. We are pulling the possibilities. That might work. And there will be another video that will talk about that. Some more details. If you think yes, so I'm just going through through them that way. So that one looks like it might be something about perseverance. And I may choose to use these and I may choose not to. Ooh, that's a... Yeah, you know what? We're going to add, add it to the list. One of the things that people say, they're overwhelmed. You've got too many pictures. So you don't want to put have too much in there. That's kind of cute. is forcing you to flip through at least maybe once a month some of your file folders and seeing what you have and that might give you ideas. Anytime during this month, I can, well, that might go with perseverance, I can go back to my file folders. I'm not limited to what's in the folder, but I am going to help myself out by limiting. I find a lot of times when I did ATCs and the like, I, uh, I would use things that were on my desk and it's amazing what you can make fit. You know, I like this for some reason. It's ketchup. Maybe it's because I have this green page, but I'm thinking focus, you know. Something you can pull, you know, watching TV. So it's all good. You know, sometimes it might be an underground or an under piece. It might be a colorful pattern. Oh, I like the viewing ball. That might give, I'm not sure. So you don't want to spend a lot of time. Just go with your first instinct. These are fairies. I've got other butterflies that I already had from last time. And children. Weights, that might be something that goes with perseverance. So the sentiments that I have, I now have the change sentiments and then these 23. I am going to add it to my sentiment list. Um, if you're interested in getting those, uh, just email me at creativekatie.com, creativekatie at gmail.com, 
and ask me about the details. And then you can print them on. You'll get a PDF and you get... Hmm, kind of like that idea with the window. I could cut that out. It's an idea. It's given me ideas and sometimes Well, the Energizer Bunny is definitely keeps going and going, so that would be a definite tie-in. I'm going to put the road map, some road map in there. I can put, you know, and while I'm thinking of that, I'm also going to put in here... Some music sheets that I picked up at the thrift store. Music sheets, uh, book paper, dictionary paper, and you might just put, you know, a little bit of it in there. Just enough to remind you that you can have that in your stash somewhere else. So, I'll we'll take that out. Uh, lock. There was a quote that said, you know, it's the last key that unlocks the door. It's always the last. Okay, so I turned around and I was putting those files away and I came across a few other things here and I just want to tell you what I'm throwing into my you know, as I pull possibilities. I have these templates of flowers, different sizes, and I think, you know, I could do some negative painting with them or tracing or something, so I'm gonna throw those in there. I also have very few, because I'm not a scrapbooker, but I have a few sheets of scrapbook paper that I've picked up odd places, but this flower caught my eye, and I thought, okay, you know, I'm gonna throw that in because I could probably do some fussy cutting also have some coloring sheets here that you know I just maybe I did too much coloring when in as a teacher but I'm thinking I could you know color this out and cut it out and use that as a focal point I also remembered that I had cut for a canvas some turtle sea turtle shapes and have kind of masks and stencils here. So I'm thinking, you know, that's right up my alley. Um, in here, I can definitely see doing a turtle with the theme of perseverance. That's, you know, really rings true to me. And I have a fairy as well as some, some dancers, little dance silhouette that I'm going to throw in there as well. So we have put together in under half an hour total, even with me talking, a package of possibilities that I am going to use in the upcoming month or so with the theme of perseverance. I hope this has given you some tips of ways that you can pull together a possibility packet and, and you can use this with any of your art journal pages. Just, it'll edit some of the things out and then you have this right at your desk so you're not turning around and going into your filing cabinet or into your boxes or wherever you have your stash, you have it right here. It's limiting you so you're not going to get maybe sidetracked as I often do. It's like, oh, that's a good idea. So you're limited to, to this. You have your colored papers.
you know, if, if I'm running out, I could go and do more, but I think I'm going to be good. And I have the blank pages if there's a color that I don't need. So I think I have a lot of the raw materials that I'm going to need to doing my quick fire journal. 